I was traveling. I, I was traveling from Kabul to Herat, 146 kilometer. I was stopped by a jeep, which just came from the back, and it was they were in front of me. So four people like came out with their gun, and they started to gun. They started to beat from their gun point and backside. So I forgot how to speak. So my tears were running down my cheeks, and person were calling each other. One was saying, "Well, uh, please shoot him." So Main Devnath is on a mission to pedal around the globe to raise awareness about HIV AIDS. After touring about 170 countries since 2004, he recently reached Saudi Arabia. Devnath's 18-year-long adventure has been anything but uneventful. He was once captured by the Taliban and spent 24 days as a captive of the terror group. But ultimately, uh, I try to explain them, please don't kill me, take me with you. If I'm, a, if I'm a bad person, you could kill me later. So that's how I convinced them. And after that, I was blindfolded. They took me in their jeep with my all the, uh, all, all the things, with my bicycle and other bags. So uh, they took me a long drive. I don't know why they took me. So I, I found myself after one and a half hours uh, in an underground where I understood that I was four days trapped in a chair, continuously starved and beaten. At one time in a day, I was getting food and water, uh, which is a special bread and, and some half fried meat uh, with water and uh, that I used to eat. Their first question was, what do you think about Musulman? I told Muslim be Iman, that is means all the time and condition, one person should live with Iman, faith, belief and honesty. Although I'm a Hindu, my religion is also saying the same. Then they asked, what do you think about Quran? Then I told, Quran is one of the scientific book and I respect Quran and I have a Quran in my bag and officially reading it. The Taliban fighters asked him what would he do if they didn't free him. It was his prompt reply that perhaps allowed him a second lease of life. Then I tried to explain that if you don't want to let me go, please kindly give me some job. If I cannot continue my mission, let me contribute to yours. So then they asked me what you could do. I said, I cannot take a gun and kill two other people, but I can, I can maybe clean your house, clean your weapons, clean, wash your clothes, and even clean your utensils. That's, they told you could do that and say, yes. Please help me to, if I can do that. So then I became a cleaner. And while I was cleaning, I was keep silent and I was not talking at all. And I was trying to find myself quite isolated. And that time I tried to listen, listen by my, my, my own voice and uh, own inner voice too. And then one day I tried to explain them that, please, would you mind to let me to cook for you? Uh, because I can make more better food. And I don't know what they understood, but they they let me cook for them. So one day I made their lunch and they really liked it. So last 11 days, I was their cook. So uh, uh, I can tell like this way that maybe two days before, like when I was 22 days, then they told me that we will let you go. But what we'll tell to the rest of the world, I told I should be thankful. I should be thankful back because you wanted to let me go. You could give me my own freedom and I, I think you will appreciate my missions too. So then they told me that, uh, and also I told that I should uh, I should thankful to people, prayers, whoever I met in this world and whoever I will meet in my future. So then I was again blindfolded. Uh, I was dropped by 16 kilometers before Herat. Devnath finally won his release by cooking curry for the Taliban. I cook for them uh, uh, whatever dumba, uh, 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 dumba fried and dumba curry. So it is, it is not intentionally to, I, uh, I wanted to cook for them because I think if I cook for them, I can eat also good food. That was my intention. Since the start of his journey in 2004, Devnath has traveled 1,85,400 kilometers. He has met with 72 prime ministers, 38 presidents and 6 kings across the globe so far. 
But why is the bicycle his chosen mode of travel? Bicycle is the easiest vehicle which can take me to reach to people. First, second is it is environmental friendly and crossing finger for global warming. Third, it is an ultimate yoga and it keep, it can keep my mind and my body fit. And when I have started my journey, I didn't have sufficient fund. That's why I started my journey with seventeen dollars around the world. And this is the fourth region. So this is the fourth reason behind of these journeys. Devnath's obsession with HIV started when he read an article about a homeless man in Kolkata who suffered from AIDS and had been abandoned to die alone. Devnath was just 14 then. Devnath funds his travel using donations received from people across the globe. 